guys, Basic Brit here. So today I'm doing a little video on a subject that I have been kind of scared to do a video on because I know it's a little bit controversial and I don't want to get hate because then I will cry. Uh, so if you want to hear me do a small segment on why I think that online presence and social media is so important in this generation, then just keep on watching this video. All right, so I'm gonna start this story off with a little bit of a backstory about me and like why I think that this kind of connects to why I feel so strongly about this subject. And that's because when I was in school, I didn't have a whole ton of friends. And especially after I graduated, I only had about two friends where I lived. And so, so I obviously didn't have a whole lot of social life, I guess you could say. Um, and most of my time spent was at work and I worked at a uh, portrait studio. So anyways, uh, to lead in to where I'm going with this, I uh, didn't have very good internet access when I was in high school, so I wasn't online a lot. I didn't even have a Facebook until I was in 10th grade. So yeah, that shows right there how uh, disconnected from the online world I was at that point in my life. <laughs> And then after I graduated, I kind of like grew more into social media and uh, we got better internet, but I still like wasn't allowed to really watch YouTube videos or anything like that because like we had really weird internet that um, like would use up data really fast if we watched videos or downloaded pictures. And um, after we used so much, like it would completely slow down and we wouldn't be able to like get online. So I was limited to um, mostly just Facebook. I did get a Twitter and I use that uh, kind of often too, but the big one for me was Instagram. Once I got Instagram, it was kind of like a game changer for me. I started connecting with a lot of people who had the same music taste as me on um, different pages. I started uh, being an admin on different pages for like bands that I liked and stuff like that and I grew really fast with an online presence from that and uh, I kind of just stemmed my love for social media from there. I was connecting with a lot of people that were like interested in the same kind of stuff as me and I was connecting with them mostly on Instagram, but I would occasionally do things like kick where you would be like put in a chat room, like I would have a friend that would put me in a chat room with a bunch of other people and I made friends through there too. And that's how I like had a lot of contact with most of these people, I guess you could say. And when I like eventually got to know them more, I would give them like, my iMessage email or whatever so that like they could iMessage me but I wouldn't give them my phone number because I was like too afraid to do that. Looking back on it now it's kind of honestly scary because there were people that like I found out like while talking to them that they weren't who they were saying they were and I still to this day like don't know who those people are. They were just some someone hiding behind a phone screen like talking to a young girl so it's kind of scary when you look at it from that aspect but I obviously wasn't stupid and like I found out rather quickly like when these people weren't real or not and I would just cut off all connection to them um, so I guess you could say when it came to like online stranger danger I definitely wasn't the smartest with that but I still like was obviously cautious because I'm still here today so I've actually like met a lot of those internet friends which is like really odd I've met a couple of them I met I think at least three I might have met more but I met at least three that I know of for sure so now let me kind of get into like why I think that social media presence is so important so I think that when you are given this social media presence, it is kind of a good way to connect with people who are interested in the same things as you. It was hard for me living in a state that was so different from who I was. I didn't have a lot of friends because most of the stuff that I liked wasn't considered cool where I lived and so a lot of people just thought I was weird and I didn't have friends because of that. So having that social media presence and also getting that attention kind of compensated for that and it made me feel better about myself because I personally was really insecure growing up in high school and I was really insecure just about my body and about like my personality and like who I was. I was someone that was always wanting to be accepted but I didn't want to change the person that I was because I liked who I was personally. I just, you know, 
was really insecure. <laughs> so having that online presence really helped me get through that hard time because I didn't have a lot of friends and I didn't have have like a lot of social contact. So social media did that for me. And uh, so yeah, like I mean, I feel like that's really important to have friends. <laughs> So even if they aren't physically there, it really, to me, I don't think it matters. I don't think it really matters if they're physically there or if you're talking to them on the phone. They're still your friends and they still are people that you can confide in and tell your secrets to and uh, just tell your day to, like just be able to vent to and like have that outlet. And that's what it was for me. And on top of that, it also just helped me feel that the person I was was okay because there were other people that liked the same things that I liked and like for once I didn't feel like rejected and I felt accepted in a community and that's what an online presence did for me and you know that didn't happen for me in the real world where I live like I didn't get that I didn't get accepted for what I liked and I didn't get accepted for the person that I was, I mean, in general. And that's a big reason why I moved to California because I wanted to be around, one, just more people in general because uh, the more people there are, the more different kinds of people there are going to be. And you're more likely to like make friends when there are more, obviously. And two, because I feel like California is where the outcasts kind of go or like Los Angeles at least uh, because that's just what it's kind of known for the city of Los Angeles and uh, yeah and I mean that's what I did and I know so many other people that have done the same thing and a lot of my friends have done the same thing because that's just kind of the stigma I guess and uh, people just go with it so yeah and um, if I hadn't had I know for a fact if I hadn't had those friends on my social media and if I hadn't had that online presence that I did I wouldn't be living here today because everyone around me just kept telling me what a stupid idea it was to move here and like how it would never work and how I would be miserable here like everyone that I knew in real life was so against it except for like two people and uh, I was just constantly getting like you know negativity from it so obviously if I hadn't had those people online and those people that you know lived across the country or even across the world telling me that I should follow my heart and I should follow my dreams and I should do what I love then I wouldn't have been here because they were constantly reassuring me that it was gonna be okay and they were constantly telling me like you know I can't do this Brittany but like you actually have a chance to do this and like if you have a chance to do what like you feel like you need to do then like take it like you need to do it like do it for us and that's kind of what it led to. And uh, yeah, it was a really beautiful thing. So I also think that's a really important thing with social media because you find those people that like you really have that connection with and that you don't have with people who are around you. And like, that's fine. Like you, there are going to be people all over the world who also feel that way. And it's just so nice that we have this tool to be able to connect with them and I feel like that's something today that we just really need to take advantage of because you know they didn't have that back then they didn't have this easy access to find people across the world from you that you know has these common interests and these common likes and you know there could that that could be the person that you're supposed to meet like you know you never know and now we have this easy access to be able to do that and to be able to connect to like all kinds of different people and to all kinds of different cultures and I just think that's so beautiful and so amazing like that's just so like ah to me I love it um and that's basically like where this video is going like what social media means to me I know there's so many like negative things that can come out of it like obviously it spreads like false media and stuff like that very quickly which is dangerous and not good and that's definitely something I think that we as a whole as humans should work on because like we're just so bad about spreading gossip we just gotta work on it and like honestly I'm 
blaming myself too like I'm one of those people I'm horrible about spreading gossip I've got to get better on it like I got to work on myself but like we all should get better on it because it's a problem I'm not saying there are like negative parts to social media as well like obviously there are but I think in the long run like there are more important factors that outweigh the negativity that we need to like take for granted and like use. So I hope you enjoyed this little talk here and I hope it like made sense. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do but I like have just kept pushing it off. I have a couple other videos that I have coming out soon um, that I really have been pushing off that I need to just sit down and talk to you guys. I hope you guys also like my new chair that I got. It's so comfortable, it's so much better than that other little chair thing that I had before. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all so much. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.